don't want to do weight loss. I just want to stay active. That's my whole perspective on it. First, we're going to start off. I found my fan. I'm so excited. This is beyond amazing. It's hands down one of my favorite tools. Okay, let me just get into it already. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, but still in the mentally struggling category. Today's video is going to be about weight. So we're just going to get right into it. Okay, so the whole purpose of this video is to give you some tips on what has helped me through my weight journey. And I'm calling this video or this topic weight journey because I feel like when you say weight loss journey it kind of changes your mental perspective about it so let me walk you through it first of all this video is not meant to tell you that you need to lose weight that's not the purpose of this video this video is for people who are struggling to stay consistent while trying to lose weight. So if you keep getting on that train where you're doing good, you're working out, you're doing your exercises, you're eating healthy, and then you kind of fall off and then you get back on and you fall off and you get back on. That's what this video is for. People who do that, teeter-totter, that's me. So I hope this video helps out. First, I'm gonna give you a little background to tell you what led up to my journey up till now. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you five tips. And the bonus tip is what keeps me motivated. So let's get into it. So we are going to start all the way back around high school. Because middle school, I feel like no one is really trying to work out and stay healthy. <laughs> so we're going to start with high school. So ninth and 10th grade, I was in color guard. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's the girls slash guys who throw the, the sword. <laughs> I mean, for people who don't know, a saber, which is the sword, a rifle and the flag. So I did that. And then I also got my first job. It was at Sonic. It was super fun. If any of my Sonic people or color guard people watching this, we had good times. And... So I really already had to stay active because of that. Our color guard coach did make us work out and she also told us it was optional not to drink soda because in the summer times it would be like a hundred degrees outside and we would be working out outside, then running drills, doing practice, all sorts of stuff. So I took the advice and that's when I started making conscious effort to, I guess, my health. And my 11th grade is when I stopped, well, I stopped the end of 10th grade. And for my junior year, I wasn't doing color guard or winter guard anymore. So I really worked a lot and did school. So I didn't do anything that year. And then my senior year of high school, for about, I think four months, maybe five, I didn't have my car because I had moved. So that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video. And so I would walk to work, which was about a mile, a mile and a half from where I live. I worked at Duncan. Best job ever, best people ever. We had so much fun. And I learned a lot. Probably where my coffee addiction came from because I figured out how to make a good iced coffee. Probably shouldn't have done that. But once I did get my car, finally, I drove a little Honda Prelude. She was so cute. I had her for like 10 years. But anyways, once I did get my car, all I wanted to do was go pick up my friends and hang out. So I wasn't walking as much anymore. And at the time, the guy I was dating, we would also walk to each other's house. So that was fun. But that was a long distance. That was like 10 miles ish. No, five. <laughs> I forgot to switch it in my book. <laughs> five. But as I said in one of my previous videos, I loved to walk. I could walk all the time and it wouldn't, it would never hurt my feet. 
I said jogging and running I had difficulty doing. And in high school, my weight was around 110, 115-ish. So now college time. I went to community college for two years and then I went back a little bit later on and did a quick program for phlebotomy, which side note, that was super fun. And that's when I started jogging with my dad. My dad started working out around that time and that's when we kind of started eating a little bit healthier and that was fun we would jog in all different sorts of places around town until we can find like a permanent good spot which we ended up finding and i feel like that's when i took it the most serious and really experienced firsthand on trying to eat good and make better decisions or eat well and try to make better decisions and work out and be active and in college era, I was 120, 130-ish. And same thing for like the next couple of years, I kind of just stayed the same. So a couple of years later, before having kids, and around this time, I feel like is when social media kind of started to pop off a little bit. And this is when I started watching YouTube videos a lot and really trying to figure out different exercises and eating habits. Then after that, is when I got pregnant with twins and that was 2016. I feel like that was a mental struggle for me even though mental struggle weight wise because even though I knew I was growing two humans for those of you who don't know I have twin boys um, it was still very difficult. I gained over 60 to 7 pounds because I had extra fluid. So the doctors told me I was healthy, my eating habits were fine, nothing looked bad or negative, I guess. But in my head, it was still difficult and the weight was so uncomfortable. That's all I can say. It, I was over 200 pounds and I had gained 60 to 70 pounds with those babies. Oh, it was it was pretty difficult especially because you know most of the time I stayed between 110 and 130 so it was a little bit weird you know I just wasn't used to it and then I made the choice after pregnancy that I felt like I needed to immediately snap back and go back to somewhat near my regular weight so that was a little bit difficult I knew it, I mean, I wasn't pressuring myself a lot, but you know, it was there. Some pressure was there, so it was a bit difficult. Cause by the time I had the twins, I was, that was 2017. So I, I was about to turn 27 and I was thinking, hey, I'm almost 30. I should probably pay more attention to what I put into my body. My dad is in his 70s. He's 71 or 72. I'm not going to do the math. And his doctor says he's the healthiest he's ever seen any of his patients. Like he is in such good health. Absolutely amazing. And I want that for my life. That way I can be there for my kids longer. I don't want to have problems when I'm in my 40s. I just, I don't want that. And when I say problems, I mean health problems, you know? Fast forward to a year or two after I had my kids, 2008, 2009, I really, I feel like that's the year when I stayed most consistent and I felt the best inside and out. So hopefully I can get back to that. And then as of recently, my 30th birthday was September of 2020. Well, I was about to say 2019 because I forgot it's 2021. My 30th birthday was September that just passed. So a couple months ago, and I had a certain goal in my head for what I wanted to look like for that photo shoot, right? On that day. Didn't happen. That's all I'm going to say. Didn't happen. But that is okay. It's perfectly okay because my pictures still came out bomb as soon as I got them back I was so excited I was looking at them and I just I was patient with myself I was proud I was like you know what even though mentally I'm not where I thought I was gonna what what was that <laughs> because even though I wasn't where I wanted to be 
I still looked amazing. The photographer I had, Mary Ashley, did amazing. If anyone's wondering, I have her info, her info link below. And now I'm around 155, 160-ish, depending. Um, it just fluctuates. So, after that long backstory, right now I have decided I'm changing up my whole mental perspective on weight loss, I guess you can say. I don't want to do weight loss, I just want to stay active. That's my whole perspective on it. So here are my five tips and how I stay motivated. And I'm sharing these tips just because mentally, this is what worked for me and I would love to pass this around because if you're struggling like I am or was, because I am not perfect either, I still have days where I don't feel like working out. You know, I don't feel like being active at all. So it's just a little give and take. So I hope this helps someone. Okay, so tip number one, I would say, is making better choices. As soon as I started to make better cho choices, <laughs> as soon as I started making better choices, I feel like that helped me out a lot. And when I say better choices, I don't mean 100% of the time. Okay, let me give you an example. I try not to drink wine and coffee in the same day. I either need to have a coffee or I need to have a wine. I pick one or the other because yes, I like my coffee and yes, I like my wine. And I try not to drink those two items all week long, you know? Coffee is definitely more of a struggle for me. I struggle with that one. So it just all really depends. Right now I'm trying to do a challenge. So we shall see how that goes. Because I've already had one slip up. Tip number two, I would say try to stay active weekly. And I'm not going to say daily because I feel like that's just doing too much for certain people, you know? I feel like that can stress somebody out, especially if you're working, if you have kids. It's hard to stay active every single day. For some people, I think that's not realistic. So maybe do three days, four days, or five days even. I mean, if you can do every day, that's great. But if you can't, that's fine too. Tip number three is listen to your body. There are going to be some days, especially when you do have an intense workout, where your body just feels sluggish and tired and you physically maybe have aches somewhere or you have an issue going on, um, like a health issue. I know sometimes when, for us women, when we are on our cycle, you know, that stuff kind of affects it. You have to take in all the variables into consideration, basically. And you know your body. You can tell if you're pushing yourself too hard or if you're not pushing yourself hard enough. Tip number four is be patient with yourself. You have to realistically ask yourself, are you, are you trying to do a quick diet? for three months and then go back? Or are you trying to make a new lifestyle habit for a long-term effect? So again, just be patient with yourself. It'll take time. Tip number five is don't be too hard on yourself. So it kind of goes hand in hand with being patient with yourself. The other day I was doing a workout and I just couldn't last 15 seconds into whatever workout because the workouts that I do, I do each move between 30 to 45 seconds depending and I just couldn't even get through 15 seconds and my body had felt so tired because I didn't get a lot of sleep waking up with my twins in the middle of the night not being able to fall asleep depending on when I had my coffee at what time all those variables you have to take into consideration and I just was kind of trash talking myself and then I was like well hold up wait a minute at least I'm out here trying and it goes back to my intro video. You have to learn to be nice to yourself. So 
that one could take time too as well. It just all depends. Especially if you're learning something new, like new recipes or different exercises or stretching your body in ways you haven't done before. All that takes time. So don't be too hard on yourself. And so that is all five of my tips. And my motivation tip is I tell myself I work out to stay healthy and active. I don't work out to lose weight. I feel like I'm fine the way I am. And yes, would I like to improve toned arms or toned stomach or toned thighs? Yes, of course. But when I'm not motivated, that alone will not get me motivated. Does that make sense? So that's what keeps me motivated. I want to stay healthy. I want to be energized to play with my kids and to keep filming videos and maybe gain some strength too because I've never had upper body strength. So that's one thing I'm kind of really looking forward to. And I feel like that's what's going to help me make this lifestyle change for the long run, not the short term. Again, this is just what helped me out. And if this doesn't work for you, you know, everybody's different. But I hope you at least heard one tip that could help you out with your journey. And don't feel pressured. I know social media does a lot and that could be its own video, whole nother segment. Do what feels good. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope I help someone. If I help a few people, great. That works out for me. Then the whole video is worth it. <laughs> so stay tuned for next week's video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye. did find him. That just doesn't sound right. I'm obviously not good at grammar. And what helps keep me motivated is I work out. Mm, let me not do it like that. So stay tuned. So stay tuned. What, what did I even say? I don't know what I said. Thumbnail time because I can pick my own thumbnails. I don't know what my hair is doing. It's a struggle, okay? I don't I don't know. That probably doesn't even fit, but we shall see. We'll do a regular one too. We'll do it on my gray hair side. <laughs> uh no, definitely not. That's like taking it back to 2011. I think that's it. Peace. Bye.